Hey everybody, PJ back with another Exotic Car Hacks review today. Well, not really a review, but rather goodbye. The time has come to finally put behind our Huracan Evo rear-wheel drive. And before we part ways with this car, I decided to break down two very easy concepts for you. The first one is how good was the car after six months of ownership? Was it really worth the money? And more importantly, what were the real cost of ownership into the new Evo rear-wheel drive? But also, I've decided to kind of give you a real mini review of the car. Now that I've owned it for about 2,000 miles, what are my real final thoughts on it? And one of the big things I pride myself in Exotic Car Hacks is always to give you real reviews that are based on real ownership, not just living with a car 30 days, but rather owning a car with a specific intent. You see, I bought this car because I really, really missed my Performante. And so my goal was to basically substitute the Perf while I was waiting for my SVJ Roadster. Now that I have two SVJ Roadsters, it only makes sense. And even a new car coming that's very similar, it now makes sense to kind of part ways with the Evo rear wheel drive. But it isn't without sadness because this has been one of the coolest Lamborghini Huracans that I have owned. And I have truly enjoyed my time with the Evo, which is why I wanted to share with you some of my parting thoughts on the car. So first off, it's a wingless perf and it isn't a wingless perf. It isn't as confident as a perf, which is why it's a little bit different, right? However, however, because it's rear wheel drive, not all wheel drive, in sport mode, it behaves really, really well around turns. So it's not just the track monster. I think the design is spectacular. They have basically taken all of the cues from the Performante and made them into a beautiful and very acceptable shape. The wheels are now beautiful. The front bumper has been fixed from this really ugly all-wheel drive evil bumper, and it has a very performante-ish look. And then in the rear, you retain basically the perf without the wing and this really attractive little spoiler here that really makes the car stand out. So, you know, is it that much different than a perf? Well, the short of it is the experience is to some degree. But the other side of it is that the perf is $50,000 more at least than a rear-wheel drive Evo. So I don't know that the Performante is 70 to $100,000 better, but if I had the choice, I would still buy a Performante over the Evo rear-wheel drive, unless I was on a budget, because therefore then the Huracan Evo rear-wheel drive becomes the best of the bunch. Partially because they've taken all the cues that didn't make the original Huracan a good car and have completely fixed them. And I wanna kind of show you this. If I can find my key, this is what happens when you have a large cock, you can't really find your key in your pocket because you don't know what you're grabbing. But they've changed and fixed everything. And I think the main complaint I had with the regular Huracan was really the cheap interior. And here they've, they've brought that up tenfold. But the main thing over the Performante, which is really sad that they never offered a perf with this, are these glorious seats. The sports seats in the Evo rear wheel drive are the best seats I've ever sat in in any Lamborghini. They're beautiful, they're comfortable, they're functional, and they just do it for me. And that's why I think this is something that the Perf was missing. I would be going out of my, I wouldn't be going out of my way saying that I would pay $15,000 to basically steal these seats and put them in a Performante to create the absolute most perfect Performante ever. And I think that's definitely possible. And I think it's definitely worthwhile to do that because these seats are freaking glorious, right? I said freaking, not fucking. Well, wow, something's wrong with me. I think I'm becoming like more docile or something. Something's like not working. But anyway, so the best way to describe this car in short is a really good condom. That's right. I said it's, well, who uses condom anymore? We're like 2021, right? Like, does anybody use condoms these days? I mean, they should, because we're giving birth to a lot of idiots out there. But for those of you that still use them, think about it this way. It performs exactly as it should, and it's slightly underrated. And while it tones down the performance a little bit from a perf, it still gives you the greatest feeling ever. So it's the closest thing to perfect, but it's not. So it's almost like a really good condom that works, but it's not raw, right? So I don't know. I mean, you kind of do the math, or maybe I just suck with these analogies. But long story short, buy a Huracan Evo rear-wheel drive above all other Huracan models on the one basis alone, which we're going to look at cost of ownership. But the one thing about this car that I think really did it for me 
is that it's just near impossible to beat in the price point. And I said this originally when I, when I started doing the first review of this after driving it a couple of times. And after six months, I still believe this to be true more than anything else. Lamborghini has become single-handedly one of the best brands of exotic cars anywhere. This car has held its value just as good as a GT2 or G, even better than a GT2 RS. It is more fun and dynamically beautiful than a 3 RS. And yet, it's the driving experience is what Porsche was almost famous for. And while the design is an acquired taste, everybody can appreciate a Lamborghini design like this. And now that they've refined the little stuff like the skirts, taken the cheap plastic away, had the screen in the middle, as fucking annoying as that is, and redid this re-ren so you don't have all that plastic shit everywhere, it really works. I mean, it works really well. And the only reason I will part ways with it, because at Exotic Car Hacks, we love money more than cars, but even more important than that, it's that I already have so many other really cool exotics that this is a very entry-level exotic for me. And unfortunately, I can't keep all of my cars all the time because I have no room to put them. And we have a lot of cool, exciting cars coming for you this year. I don't want to spoil the fun. We'll have one later this week that's going to arrive here. Another Lamborghini that's not to be fucked with. But this car's got to go. And so let's go take a look at the numbers and see how far we made it with this from a dollar standpoint. Was it a good buy? Was it not? So how good of a deal was the Huracan Evo rear-wheel drive? Now, the car we just showed you outside had an MSRP of 262,000, which was on the higher side. The majority of Evos out there are between 250, 245, and 265. So this was on the higher end of a coupe. In addition to that, we received uh, $15,000 off MSRP, even though this was a special order car. The majority of people buying Evos from dealers are able to get 10 to 15,000 off, which meant that our car basically came up right under $250,000, under 250 grand for a brand new 2021. What were the costs involved with the car? Insurance on the car, four to six months, was $1,200 using our proprietary strategy at Exotic Car Hacks which is still pretty decent, still comes out to $200 a month, but $1,200 in total. There were zero repairs since the car is under warranty, and there were two warranty claims on the car. One was for the exhaust pipe itself being slightly discolored, uh, which you can see in this photo here. And then in addition to the slight discoloration, there was a malfunction uh, that kept prompting the car uh, that had some kind of leak, but no real issue, just a small trigger that took about three days to fix at the dealership. Now, modifications here were about $3,000 uh, installed, which involved spacers and lowering suspension by Novitec. So right here, the cost of ownership for the majority of this car was about 251. So 254 was the total cost that the car was owned for uh, during its six months of ownership all in, right? Now, even though I'm factoring in insurance here, that shouldn't really be the case because the average human here will pay $800 for a Honda uh, in Florida. So this is really a $400 offset from what you usually pay. But let's just assume we're taking in full factors of all the mods and everything else. So 254 in, with the car sold now at 262,000, that gives us roughly no more here uh, then $8,000, if I can still do math, in profit. Which means that on average, to drive a Huracan Evo Blue Glock code that was special order, took seven months to bring in uh, from the time it was officially ordered to make room for an STO, we have here $8,000 divided by six. That gives us an average or roughly about twelve dollars to $1,300 a month not paid, but made on the Huracan Evo rear-wheel drive. So I would say this was a very, very successful hack, incredibly su successful on the basis that not only was car driven six months, enjoyed modded, but still cost after insurance is still 12 to 1300 a month up with six months of ownership. I am a pretty firm believer that I could have kept this car an additional six months and walked away with a similar formula. The only offset would have been that it would have been very hard for me to continue enjoying the car and not just parking it and looking at it there 
Uh, and so as a result of that, I would rather take the capital uh, here and deploy it again yet in another uh, car, something that I'm gonna enjoy actually driving because we've already basically gone through this and I am still looking for a perf to add to the collection permanently, not to resell anymore. But this gives you a good idea of how a hack can be executed, still enjoyed, brand, brand new car, full warranty, 2021 ordered from the factory, 12 to $1,300 in profit a month for six months straight uh, of ownership, including mods and everything else. So there you have it. This is exactly what the definition of exotic car hacks is. And if you wanna learn how to get these discounts, if you wanna learn how to know which cars to buy or why this car fit the model so well, again, do not forget to take my free training uh, which is right below, like in the description, you can click it, take the free training and join our community so you can learn how our members are doing this already and following this model for a lot of Huracans. If you're looking or in the market for a Huracan, you need to be paying attention to this right now. So subscribe, like, and again, let me know your thoughts. Uh, do you think the car is worth getting rid of or no? Or should I have kept it? Should I have gotten rid of it? Uh, was I right to dump it for the money or should I have kept it forever? Leave the comments and I will catch you guys on the next video for Exotic Car Hacks.